Jesus told us in the first commandment, he said the best way to pray, pray to God with all your heart, all your mind, all your soul, and all your strength. So I'm going to talk about that phrase because it addresses all facets of our being. And, but I'm going to do it in reverse order because that, first of all, strength. A prayer needs to have the strength behind it. It needs sincerity, it needs strength. And um, it has to be real. It can't just be, oh, God, please give me this. Well, we all know, we've all said prayers. We've all had prayers that worked and we've all had prayers that didn't work. You know, one time I was painting, it wasn't going very well. I was, I was putting something here, and no, 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 putting something there, and no, that didn't work. Putting something here, and, and it just, just <clears throat> was not working. And finally, and I just, it just burst out of me. I just said, oh, for heaven's sakes, I need some help. Master, please help me. Divine Mother, please help me. Well, it was amazing. All of a sudden, it was like my hand was painting on its own. It put something there, it was right. Put something there, it was right. Each stroke was just right. And so it was one of those rare times, you know, where a prayer bursts out and God answers. And so it had sincerity and strength. When Master was in India, Hare Krishna was 15 then, his nephew. They went on a pilgrimage to right where the Ganges meets the Bay of Bengal, and there's a, a festival every year. And so they were on a boat with many, many pilgrims. And they were at a place in the river where it was very, very wide, about five or six miles across, and you couldn't see either shore. And the boat started sinking. And so everyone got very afraid. As, and, and, and they knew there was a holy man on the boat, so they all went running to him and, and saying, help us, help us, help us, the boat is sinking. And Master said, he said, don't, don't get so excited. Don't be running around the deck in fear or like this. Sit down, sit down, it will be all right, and pray to God, pray to God. So everybody sat down, and they prayed to God, and in about 15 minutes, the boat started to come up again. And so they all went running to Master again and said, you saved us, you saved us, thank you, thank you. And Master said, no, you prayed to God. That's what saved you, is you prayed to God. And so, see, it takes God's grace and it takes our prayer. It takes both. Nandamoy St. Maas likened it. He said, God's grace is everywhere around us. And she likened it to a well with a bucket and she said, the water in the well is God's grace. The bucket is what brings it up to you, but the rope is what holds you fast. The rope is your remembrance of God every single moment, every single moment. 